Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to import uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl models into 3ds Max. Now this is a continue from the video that I did last time because uh, in the, the last video I only showed you how to import the models and not how to import the, uh, the animations. So um, this is what we'll be going into today. So first off, I'm going to be saying, I'm going to be straight to this. I'm, I'm gonna use today Autodesk 3ds Max 2011 because the last one was just um, out of date and whatever, whatever. Anyways, uh, this this way on importing the models is gonna be completely different for the other one. So if you want to check the other one out, please click on the please click on my YouTube channel and check the other one out before watching this one because this might be a lot different. So. Some of the things we're going to need is a few new tools. Now instead of Autodesk 3ds Max, we're going to also be using BRRES Viewer, which will be um, which will probably be which will probably be in the description and Brawlbox. Now, also we're going to be using Actor X um, scripts for 3ds Max, which I'll get to those later. So, First off, make a new folder in your desktop or whatever, in which you're gonna have to, you're gonna put inside your model. So now, so I'm gonna name mine Skyloft Zelda. Anyway, this is because I'm gonna be using a new model that I put in my um, Super Smash Brothers game. Anyway, after that, you go to Brawl Box and you open it now. Wait just a few seconds. There we go. Brawl box is open. Now, what we're gonna open is the actual model that we want to um, open that we want to export. Now, in this one, I'm gonna be exporting the whole thing, the animations with the actual mesh. So, go ahead and find your fighter, Skyl of Zelda, and open that up. Okay, here we got the textures and the models. So, if you really want to go into that uh, whole uh, situation, anyways, um, go ahead and export all the uh, materials in your um, in the folder that you created, which in my case is in the desktop, Scala of Zelda, and go ahead and export all of them. Okay, so that wasn't completely necessary, but in case you want to put, which you'll probably want to put in a few while, then you go to the model and you find the model. Then you're gonna export this into an MDL0 format in the same folder you got your materials. So, right now, if we look inside the folder, you can see all of our materials and the model. Right, so now this is going to need some trial now. Now we open up a new model, which is going to be the actual animations, which we're going to find. Yeah, Sky of uh, Zelda. Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. There she is. And motion etc. Fighter Zelda motion etc. Pac. Now over here we see the two arcades, uh, uh, the archives. Sorry. Um, Zelda's ETC, which is etc. The um, various stuff that she'll be using as well, as well as her motion. Now we got one for one BRAS ES uh, folder called Animation Data. Now you're gonna right click that, press Import Model. Then we're gonna go uh, to our folder where we got the where we exported the model over here, and we're gonna import that. And so you see now, it's going to import, uh, it's going to create a new folder, 3D models, NW4R, um, and it's going to have the model that we exported earlier. So now that we got a BIS model uh, fo folder with all the textures and 
uh, the, the animation sorry and the model you don't want to export that pressing export or control E save it to the same folder so that you don't have a lot of uh, messing around to do and there it's export it's exported now no I don't if you don't save changes now go ahead and open um, BRES viewer now this model won't be needed anymore anyway go ahead and open BRE BRES viewer version 4 this is the uh, general environment in which we'll be doing our stuff with this thing and generally what we'll be doing here is converting the animations and the model so go ahead and press uh, file uh, open files then you go ahead and look for your uh, little folder that you created Sky of Zelda here animation data dot b r r e s and here we got our whole file now these are all the animations with the actual model well, uh, this is Sky of Zelda by the way from the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword anyways and then we wanna just uh, export the export all files uh, PSA PSK for the models okay then we just wait for a bit there right now it just exported them so if you look back into your folder with the uh, actual exported data oops yes you see a new folder that says exported now this folder has everything that you just exported which includes all the animations in a PSA file, uh, file format and your um, model in a PSK uh, form. Now, we want to go ahead and open 3ds Max 2011. And now I'll be explaining exactly what's going to be different about this whole concept. Now, the PSA for the animations and the PSK for what the um, for the actual model are going to be a is a format that was actually used by uh, Unreal Engine 3 with a plugin from Epic Games. So it was created just to import, uh, you know, um, models and animations from games like Unreal Tournament 3 or X Men Origins Wolverine and various games that run the same game engine, Unreal Engine 3. And because they were using the same uh, format and the same decoding, we're going to use, use the same method to just import them into 3ds max now there was a plug plugin that I showed you earlier called actor um, actor X which is going to be uh, helping us importing them into 3ds max environment now the materials are sure going to be a little bit of a hard time to understand because it, after 3ds max 10 and over it, the material it all got a little bit messed up but anyways I'm going to be going on on how to do it details with details so I'm just going to wait for Autodesk 3ds Max 2011 to load. I downloaded mine. If you want, you can already buy. You can buy it, or if you've already bought it, that's good. And we're going to see what we're going to do right now. So pay good. So pay attention. Book Mobilat uh, Morguloka, by the way, means uh, I call upon you a uh, Black Wraith uh, power. It's Black Speech from uh, Lord of the Rings. I downloaded a whole uh, dictionary on how to translate. Anyways. It does take a long time to load right now because I'm loading a lot of things 
and I don't know which of these things I'm only running uh, fraps and um, steam ah, here we go keep loading keep loading keep loading I want the GUI completely right in front of me and here we are the old good familiar 3ds max environment where we'll be editing everything we have so to get started first we're gonna go at max script and press run script now I'll put a link in the description on how you get to download actor X but uh, you go to your downloads and find the folder where I got actor X you find two files inside actor X importer and actor FBX this is gonna be uh, also run by, by the importer as well if you want to and press open now there's a mesh import in which you're gonna import the mesh which is the actual uh, uh, body of the uh, file we're gonna go to what we exported from the BRIS viewer and this is the model so import PSK and here we go we got the uh, scallops of them now just to mention something um, once you get in the BRES viewer, you have the ability to edit the polygons, or even before in the uh, bro box, I think, um, which will allow you to actually edit the uh, model, so you can keep whatever you want to keep before you export it to a PSK. Because once you export it to a PSK, everything you uh, have will be pretty much one mesh, except for the bones. So then we put PSA, uh, which we get one of the animations that we got, damage, uh, entity, fall, final life, foof, I don't know what the hell it is, favorite throw, items. And I'll get the uh, favorite one because it's the actual one that we'll be using as an example everywhere, weight 1. So, you import PSA, it'll preview the animation, the name of the animation, and the how many frames it is. Load track, you wait a few seconds and boom there you go you got your model animated now you just press play and it's animated now it does get a little bit rough around the edges because some of the animations seem to be um, off but don't worry you have the ability to edit it but right now you just simply have the template in front of you then if you want you can press batch export which will export this um, uh, which will export the animation and the mesh into an FBX format or ASE format or a max format so one more thing uh, the materials I didn't export the textures for nothing so I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna be doing for the animations BIS viewer messes it up, so we're gonna go to the material editor and the material editor. And oh my god, this is this is by the way the material editor in the in the next ones. I mean, look at this. What is this? This is what we're supposed to be working on in order to get the animations work uh, the materials working in time. Uh, it gets annoying, anyways. So over here, you got every one of your materials like belt body and everything now we exported all of them so I'm just gonna ahead and change the directory but the bitmap so the belt and you exported them to your folder so by going over here you just select each and every one of them and add them in now at the beginning you're not gonna see anything changing in your current model but don't worry it'll change after a little bit of refreshing Let me go quickly on with this, the rest of the parts. Some of the textures, by the way, are double uh, copied or something. I don't know what the name is going on. But I'm doing this just in case, not, uh, just to make sure nothing goes wrong. Stole, stole, stole. What the hell's the store? Oh, right there. This, uh, this, 
The stall is her actual uh, thingy, the uh, the sailcloth that the goddess gave to the chosen hero. Supposedly it wasn't him, Link, but it ended up being him. Anyways. Her face, where's her face? There's her face. Face to face, like he said. I think you know who said. I do. Yeah. I tried, by the way, I tried draw, uh, to draw Zelda today. Uh, but the sketch, it, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done. I tried to draw, um, um, I tried to draw the Twilight Princess version. And it ended up looking like shit, literally. So, uh, no, it didn't work out. But one, the one thing that did work out was um, the style of version which I drew. And to draw them, I actually took the images from Hyrule Historia. A really interesting book, really interesting book. You know, I'm just going to skip most of the eyes just because I don't need them. No FS eyeball. Cloak. This is something I am gonna need, I believe. That's a cloak. And about the thing that I said, I'm gonna be showing you um, a thing, a, an image of the water Jew. And I want you to tell me the resemblance. Does she look like the Skylove thingy? And don't do any compliments about the um, the, the the about the about the trifle symbol in the sky, uh, the Lothling speak. Anyways, these are some, there are some materials called metal. Uh, this is just, I believe, her metal version, and which we don't know how, to, which we're not gonna be exporting. And if you just want to, you can keep the original model the way it is. You need to change something. Now, looking at Zelda, she looks kind of like taking the color, but she looks really. Colorful. Now I can just try and press red the production. And there she is. Look completely normal. And that's when the, the thing is gonna start refreshing or something. But you started to notice your character the way it is. Like I said, some things do get a little bit rough, but it's um, one of the only ways that I know of uh, importing models with the animations. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So it looks to be working brilliant. She looks happy. So. Don't worry about the bones that look like uh, tiny spikes all over her body. These won't be viewed in the uh, rendering. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video on this little tutorial. Have a nice day. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, rate, comment, share, subscribe. Whatever. So I guess I'll be seeing you guys another time.